sitting here day after day, I've become an authority on modern business. Things have been changing. It's a world of new companies, mergers, diversification, specialization, complexities. A world where executives must depend more and more on you, the secretary. Because management just can't function without the secretary. And all management expects of the good secretary is that she thinks like a man, works like a horse, and acts like a lady. Travel is one reason secretaries have more responsibility these days. Executives can be found almost anywhere in the world. Right. I am in aerospace. My boss travels all over the country. When he is here, I can't get in to see him. It's a contest between phones, meetings, or people waiting for appointments. I never get to fill him in. Don't make it a contest. Let me do it. You? Sure. Instead of spending valuable time trying to tell him everything, just type everything. And by indicating priorities, he gets to the important things first. Put it on his desk in a prominent place, and then he can read it at his convenience. Remind him of those priorities. And you should mother the mail. Mother the mail? Sure. Not only put the important letters on top, but mark the parts he should read, and note the letters you can answer. You'll end up saving time for him, and for yourself. I should have thought of that. What is that? A report, and it's the sixth time I've done it. Keeps coming back with revisions. For good reason. Today's management works as a team, a team of decision makers, and you're part of that team. Which means I have to type team reports. My boss does a draft. He goes over it with other department heads. They make changes, and I have to reset my tabs and margins. Next time, keep a copy of the report for yourself. Pencil in the tab settings, centerings, and margins, and if everything isn't changed on the next draft, you won't have to refigure so much. Maybe not at all. Thanks. You know, sometimes I can use your paper lock scale to save time in setting margins and tabs. It's so easy to set up headings and columns because all your scales go in the same direction. Uniform, like a built-in set of rulers. As easy as setting my margins, which are automatic. By the way, all my carriage controls work the same way. Forward to release, Back to lock. Easy to remember. Hey, you're terrific. How can I ever thank you? Want a rocket? Uh, well, no thanks, but uh, thanks anyway. <clears throat> Back to business. Today, to be an expert secretary, you have to be a mind reader. Oh, you're so right. I've just taken an hour of dictation. There's a rush letter and a memo that needs dates and figures from the Board of Education before it can be finished. I need a crystal ball to find out where they are. Well, crystal balls are out. Try paper clips, part of your secretary's survival kit. Just clip the page when you have to take a rush letter and there's something you have to look up. That's a glorious idea when I have time. But my boss dictates like students running at the final bell. If he's that fast, use the accordion or the diagonal fold. The accordion fold for the incomplete and the diagonal fold for the rush. I call that coding booby traps. Lovely. What else should I put into my survival kit? Everything you need to play the paper game. You know, the boss tries to get all the papers off his desk and onto yours. And I try to get them back onto his to be signed and out. That's how it's played. So when you go in for dictation, take along a couple of file folders to sort papers if there's an interruption. A small pad for phone calls and errands, your paper clips, your appointment book. You're marvelous. How can I ever thank you? You get an A+. Plus. Thanks. In today's business, you should expect changes. Think like management. See the whole picture and plan ahead. It means proofreading for sense as well as mistakes. It means not just typing notes for the meeting but figuring how many will be at the meeting. But my job is different from secretaries who work in large organizations. I don't mind typing long reports and letters, but for every patient, I've got to make a card record with degrees and footnotes. Do you know how much time I spend just lining them up? Let me do as much of your work as I can. Well, you can type them for me. No, but I can do just about everything else. Now, type in the information. Stop. Over on the left is my line finder. Just pull it forward. 
Turn the carriage knob toward you slightly. Type the degree sign. Put the line finder back. And turn the carriage knob slightly away from you. Great. It clicks right back into place. That's my line finder. Whoops. I've hit bottom. Don't worry about it. My plastic card holder and my paper lock let you type on the very last line. Uh-uh. No. You're not using me. What do you mean? Just press my vertical spacer and watch. See? Whee! Right back in place. How can I ever thank you? Oh, would you like some... Well, no. Thanks. But I'd like to tell you about some more shortcuts in your work. That's very kind of you, but I've been secretary to the president of this corporation for quite a while now, and I'm sure I know all the shortcuts. Well, I'm sure you do. I can see how well organized you are. I should be, after all these years. Now, well, if you excuse me, Mr. O is waiting to sign this letter. Uh, you'll find it easier to straighten that carbon set on my nice flat surface. Hold it. Want to make sure your carbons don't slip? Release my line finder. Put in a half sheet of paper. Drop the carbons behind my roller. Now pull. Well, all straight. I sometimes use an envelope myself. I think you'll like the half sheet better. It is faster. You uh, seem to know so much. Um, show me a quick way to adjust for carbon copies. I'll show you the quickest possible. No adjustment. You don't have to adjust with me. I've got an exclusive royal magic monitor. Magic monitor? I'll have to flip my lid to show you. Really? My magic monitor actually senses the thickness of the carbon pack and adjusts for it so that... My last carbon is as clear as my first, and there's no cutting through on my original. Amazing! Now for the envelopes. Wait. Do it the easy way. Set the envelope right behind the roller. Pull the line finder forward and pull the letter out. Put the line finder back. I'll have to address envelopes for the copies as well. Change your margin instead of tabulating for the addresses. Don't take it out. Just roll that envelope back toward you. Insert the next one facing you under the first and type. Do the same thing for all of them. Roll the envelopes away from you See? All stacked. Just as I typed them, and in the right order for the copies, I've been doing the envelopes another way, but uh, I have to agree that yours is faster. Well, I must admit you've saved me a lot of time today, young man. Uh, young, uh, <laughs> well, whatever you are. Thank you very much. Listen, you've spent enough time with her. Now it's my turn. Okay, okay, just relax. Relax? How can I relax? I work for a crazy hat designer who designs crazy hats. And I'm going crazy myself with mistakes. Look at this. See, I left out the second O. Now I have to type the whole announcement over. I'll show you how to put in that second O without redoing a single line. After you've erased the letters L-O-K, position your carriage to the last letter of the last word you typed correctly. Space. Now, hold down the error correction key and strike your L. Release and repeat for each character. I got it! I got it! I can't believe it! I got four letters into a three-letter space, all spaced perfectly. <laughs> you wouldn't even know I made a correction. This, by the way, is one excellent reason why you should always proofread your work while it's still lined up. Remember, the expert works with a minimum of motion. Well, your error correction key certainly saved me time. I would have been here all night redoing that announcement. Have a hat. Oh, oh really? Well, nobody likes to work overtime. Nobody likes to. But I've only been here for two weeks, and it seems to me that I'm always doing it. The senator is in meetings most of the day, so it's always near 5 o'clock when he dictates. Naturally, he expects me to transcribe that night and... Why naturally? Sometimes we create our own problems. Maybe the senator simply wants to clear his desk. But how do I know that? The easiest way to find out is to ask. What are you doing now? 
I do this to see when I'm coming to the end of the page? I can do it faster, better, and easier with my line meter. You just set it. Put your paper in. But what happens when I use government size paper, which is short? No problem. For shorter government size paper, roll it to the broken line just below set. When you're almost to the bottom of the page, you get a two inch warning. One and a half inch, one inch, and half inch. And when you see the word end, you're at the bottom of the page. No lines to pencil and none to erase. Gee. I don't know how to thank you. Would you like to meet the senator? Uh, maybe later. Today, the typewriter is just one small part of the secretary's job. But your sales representative, the right supplies, and I can make that part simpler and smoother. We're living in an electric world. More speed and less effort. My boss is delighted with the new way I type his messages. I let you talk to him. With my secretarial survival kit, I feel like a mind reader. Mm. Mistakes are easy to correct with your error correction key. With business changing as fast as it does, I guess I can always learn something new. You were a dream to teach me about your line finder. I found so many uses for it. You were right. My boss never intended that I should work late every day. All I had to do was ask. It was a pleasure talking to you. And don't forget to let your typewriter work for you. See you in the morning.